doesn't fit. I'm so frustrated. See that? It's supposed to be inside there. Not on top of the rack of the railing. It's supposed to be inside the railing. See that? Dude. Yeah, I'm pretty frustrated. So, well, my friend Udaldo says that there's a way to fix it. He somehow has a way. So, not really sure. But this is my silver box I was telling you about. It's pretty darn awesome. It's this brand right here. I'm told it's like a $400 box. Only I paid 60 bucks for it at our yard sale. Yes, I did. So it needs new like hinges thingy thingies, but I don't even care because it's a sealed in box it already has it has some holes drilled in the bottom for attaching it you know to something I guess and this right here the reason why there's like this rack right here and this these edges I don't know if you can see the edge see the see my fingers disappear it's like a ledge right there so and there's one on the other side here but that's so you can put like um, something in here, like a drawer that moves back and forth this way. So you have like a top surface, so it's not just a deep cave. But she also has a lock and I have a key. Like it when I have the key. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what it's supposed to be like. When she's done, it's the idea. And, um, like I said, I put her right up close. Otherwise, if I put the bar that goes in the middle, I, I was wrong. The bar there has the purpose to have 20 inches wide out. It's because this particular rack I bought is one of those ones that folds up. You take a pin out and it folds up and ties or whatever so that when you're driving, you know, um, if it's empty, but I don't intend on ever having it like empty and how do I open my back doors? That's simple. I'm gonna have four um, Jacks that I will just open the box take out the jacks put the jacks up underneath it and um, And then undo the pin and drive out and this will stay in its spot um, When I need to ever detach from it. The idea is is that when I am um at like finally an actual campground or place where I want to actually stay for like a week or two um, then I will probably leave my trailer thingy behind and I have a locking trailer hitch pin with that's with a key so like no one can hitch it back up and take go away with it um, and it'll be heavy <laughs> but I don't know if people do that but they did 15 years ago um, they would go camp when you, when you go camping, you know, you kind of set up your camp, but then you might go for a day trip somewhere. So you leave your camp all set up and everything, um, food all solid and put away and you go off for a day trip somewhere. So my idea is, um, to be able to leave my box at my campsite and be able to go somewhere, um, for the day on a hike or what have you, um, and not have to take like everything with me I don't know because when I'm camping I'm gonna want the back doors open so I can have well for example my shower is utilizing the back doors actually I have a shower system created um, or coming the actual water is coming but um, so I have a shower idea but the trip the cargo box cannot be there I'm gonna have to name this stuff because I don't know the labels I'm upcycling things and using them for different purposes <laughs> um, yeah so <sighs> frustrated I really was hoping it would just like slip right down inside the side railings right here of the cargo rack and just be perfect but it is not perfect like just about everything else I've got to conform it to my own purposes
not for what it was intended. So, anyways, that's okay. Because guess what? Trails are still calling me. Bye.